Hi, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Today I'm going to make Rasta pasta, chicken Rasta pasta to be specific. Um, so we're gonna start by seasoning our chicken. This is just kosher salt. We don't need a ton of it because obviously this chicken is gonna be cut up and put in sauce. So um, we're going to add two tablespoons of jerk marinade and about a teaspoon of dry jerk seasoning just to get the chicken all coated. And we wanna set that aside for at least an hour or two, preferably overnight. Then you wanna get your vegetables ready. Um, I'm using a lot of bell peppers, green onions, and garlic. Those are all aromatics actually, not vegetables, but whatever. Um, and here is how I cut peppers. Some of you have mentioned that you wanted to see more of how I do it. Um, so I made sure to include all of it, not cut anything out this time. Um, and this is how I do it. And after our peppers are all sliced up, we're going to get our garlic ready. Um, we're gonna mince the garlic very fine. And then we're gonna get our spring onions, or uh, they're not spring onions. Are they spring onions? They're green onions. They're scallions. You guys will see them, so you'll know what I mean. I'm dividing the onions because I'm going to put half of them uh, in the pan before the sauce is made and the other half are to be thrown in at the end. Also going to grate about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So you want to boil your noodles in salted water while you are making your sauce. So after you drizzle a little oil in the pan, you're going to get your vegetables in there, the bell peppers specifically. Um, season them with a bit of salt and add in half a tablespoon of jerk marinade. Let them soften and kind of sear as, you know, to the consistency or the texture, firmness that you want. And then remove them and it's time to sear the chicken. You're going to cook the chicken on both sides about 7 to 10 minutes on both sides. They're, you know, it'll vary based on what type of chicken you're using. I am using boneless, skinless chicken breasts. No, thighs. Yeah, those are thighs. And then slice them up and let them set aside until you're ready to add them to the sauce. After the chicken is all cut up and set aside, you're gonna deglaze your pan with a bit of the chicken broth that you're gonna use later. Then I like to add in the onions and garlic and strip a few sprigs of thyme. I do this and kind of let those flavors come together and then I add flour, which is gonna be a thickener for our sauce. After the flour is cooked, you're gonna add the rest of the chicken broth, some coconut milk, and some heavy cream. Then add in half a tablespoon more of jerk marinade or you can use more jerk seasoning, the dry seasoning if you like and then your Parmesan and whisk it all together. I tasted it and needed more salt, so I added that. And then I added in my drained noodles. There are the bell peppers. Here's the chicken, that divided little bit of onions, and that's it, we're done. If you tried this recipe, I hope you love it and let me know what you think. Um, as always, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to watch. And I hope you have a good one. Goodbye.